So now let's look at uh, this question on completing the square. They're saying express x squared minus 15 minus eight x in the form a uh, x minus b squared plus c. Okay, so here what they want you to do is simply um, complete the square. Okay, we're just simply completing the square there. So how do we complete the square? So f of x is equals to x squared minus 15 minus 8x. So this is the function that we have, right? Okay, so, so how do we complete the square? So completing the square, we just follow this method. So we write x squared minus 15. Um, okay, so let, let me put the 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 minus 8x here. So minus 8x and minus 15. Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to add a special zero. So that special zero, it means we are adding um, half squared of this guy, and then we are also subtracting it. So we are going to say x squared minus 8x, okay? And then I'm going to add a special zero. So how do I add my special zero? I divide the coefficient of x by 2, and then I square the expression. So I'm going to say plus, okay? 8 which is the coefficient of this x I'm going to divide it by 2 and then I'm going to say squared and then minus the same thing this way this guy here so minus 8 divided by 2 then squared okay and then at the end there we see that we have a what a minus 15 so this is how you complete the square always you just get the coefficient of this x you divide it by 2 and then you square it and then you add it and then you subtract this Okay, so what I've done here is what we call as adding a special zero. Okay, so what are we going to have here? We're going to have x squared minus 8x. Okay, and then uh, this will be plus. Then inside there to just be minus 4 squared minus. Even there to be minus 4 squared and then minus 15. So now look at what happens here. The first three terms here, which is the x squared, the minus 8x, and the minus 4x squared, okay? They form what we call as a perfect square, okay? So what happens? It means the term with the x disappears. So we only concentrate on the ones with the square, these ones here. So we're going to write x without the square, and then we're going to write whatever number we have in these brackets. So we have minus 4, okay? And then we put the square outside like that. So when you expand this, you should try it out. When you expand this, you'll be able to get this expression here. Okay. So this whole expression is just simplified into x minus 4 squared. Okay. And then on the other side, what do we have? Okay. On the other side, we have minus. So what is minus 4 squared? It is 16. And then minus what? 15. So it means our final answer there will just be what? Okay, our final answer will just be x minus 4 squared minus what? 31. So we can see that this here is in the form a x minus b and then squared. So it means our a is 1 because I cannot see any number in front here. Okay, and then our b is just 4. And then plus the plus c here, this c is the what? The minus c, 31. Okay, so that's how we can express that into uh, the required form. Okay, so that's all for this question.